today was the big media day where all the team leaders talk. And Fred Warner talks every Wednesday. Um, Nick Mullins talked today. He's the new starting quarterback. One guy who typically talks on Wednesdays that shouldn't and didn't today is the right tackle, Mike McGlinchey. He, they prop him up to be his team spokesman who can answer questions about the big picture, almost like a coach. And uh, I think it's a little inappropriate because I think he should, the only questions he should be answering are about himself and his poor play. He's the ninth pick in the draft. He can't block nickelbacks. And so today he didn't talk. And I like that because he needs to earn being a team spokesman. He comes out, dad, and he, they'll be like, you'll ask him something. He'll be like, well, you know, you know, we just we just kind of fell on some hard times, and and you know, it, it just uh, we we didn't, we didn't play up to our standard. It's like <laughs> dude, you're 25 and you can't block a nickel back. Don't talk big picture. Don't talk about our standard. They should be thinking about trading you. You're not on this team right now. You need to earn your spot the way Dante Pettis could. And every time he comes up there and does that, he like puffs his chest out and he's like, oh, we just didn't play up to our standard today. We we kind of got we kind of fell on some hard times. He just goes cliche after cliche after cliche. It's like. Here's the other thing about Mike McGlinchey. I, I this killed me during the offseason. He had some downtime and he tweeted his top five favorite bands of all time. Dad. Okay, this guy's born in like 1996. All right. He said the Beatles. He said, he said Bruce Springsteen. It's like, you don't even, you, there's no way that you actually listen to the Beatles. Like you're just some 25 year old who wants to sound mature. So you're like, what do what do adults like? What do adults like? Like the most inauthentic person, Mike, just work on your craft. And when you're good, come back and be yourself. We like the real Mike. With this, you're trying too hard, buddy. You're trying too hard. I don't. You don't really, listen to the Beatles. Even we I don't, but here's the, the thing. I don't even really like the Beatles. I don't like and I'm from that era. I like the Stones. But the Beatles, I can't even listen to them anymore. When really, I think really, of the really, Beatles, I think of I Want to Hold Your Hand uh, Eight Days a Week. Um, I mean, timeless classics such as those. Who, who at a party would say, oh, wait, wait a guy, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Let me throw on eight days a week and we can start really dancing. <laughs> I think there's no, nothing clears out a party better than the Beatles and Led Zeppelin. You throw on Led Zeppelin, it's over. Yeah, when you oh. want the guests to leave, you put on Led Zeppelin and, and they don't even help you clean up. They oh, just no. get out. Now, look, I want to come back to McGlinchey. How yeah. old is he? Let me see. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I'll, get, I'll tell you right now. Mike McGlinchey, age 25. Dad, he's born the day before. He's January 12th, 1995. Whoa. 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 You were 1995. born in 1988. Uh, yeah. Favorite favorite singer is Bruce Springsteen. Comes to, come to the press conferences and goes, oh, oh, well, yeah, first of all, we just, you know, fell on some hard times right there. We just, you know, it just didn't play up to our standard. Got to look inward. Got to look. Come on, dude. Is he a captain? Yes. Yes. I don't know what the, I, I guess they just like the way he talks. He sounds, he's, that's convincing. I like that. Let's, <laughs> he should be the guy who goes up to the ref during the games because. Ha. Iggy, here's the thing. If I were in those press conferences and this young, very young, yeah. uh, inexperienced man started lecturing about what the team is and needs to do. I would get the giggles. I know we do. I get the I do. I, I get the giggles. Seriously. Have you ever seen me you're like you saw you know like you're in class and you pretend to drop your pen because you got the giggles? I would get the giggles. I'd have to drop my pen if I was in there with him. I get the feeling that his teammates kind of get the giggles when he talks too because the other day before George Kittle broke his foot and ended his season, I asked him a question. I was wearing my Peaky Blinders hat because I hadn't taken a shower. And I guess it's like a real old school like you're 60 years old look. So George Kittle saw it and he's like, oh, you look like Michael McGlinchey. <laughs> I love it. Hey, Iggy, I got something to say about captains. Okay. In football, it's a distinct honor to be a captain. Right, because it's, it's military stuff. It's like, a, it's like you're a lieutenant. It's like, it's a rank. Yeah. Yeah. It's a, yes. So Tom Homo, who used to, you know, be a defensive back for them and uh, coach at Cal and now is at Brigham Young. Uh, as the athletic director, and it's an all-time great guy. He did a master's dissertation on being a captain in pro football. I don't think Tommy was ever a captain and how much it means. And we're friendly. So he asked me if I would proofread his master's thesis. And I did, and I liked it very much. And he had a section where he talked to Joe Montana about being a captain. Obviously, Joe was a captain 
a lot of times. And he told me the sweetest story. He's, I think I told you this. He said he uh, wanted to talk to Joe about what it's what it meant to Joe to be a captain. And believe me, I'm sure it meant a lot to Joe Montana. So he got Joe on the phone and they had been teammates, but it was Joe Montana. And Tommy Homo was so nervous. He started talking too fast. And he was like, hey, uh, uh, Joe, I just want to go. Oh, I'm sorry to disturb you. But <laughs> and Joe had to say, Tom, calm down. We're friends. We're teammates. I'll answer anything you want. And it, isn't it interesting? Even for Homo, Joe Montana was Joe Montana. And Montana had to say, I'm your teammate. And then he gave him a whole wonderful thing on, on being a captain. Maybe McGlinchey ought to read. His, his thesis. I love how in-depth football coaches get on football. People don't understand. So so Tom Homo wrote a, his master's thesis on being a captain. I heard that Mike, I could be wrong, but I heard that Mike Martz also did a, a master's thesis and did it entirely on the 10-yard out. That's it. 10-yard out, master's thesis. Unbelievable that he could put together 100 pages on the 10-yard out and why he loves it. It's amazing. Well, I did my PhD thing on novels of Joseph Conrad, which half the time I didn't even understand them. I could have done the ten yard out in Joseph Conrad. That's right, the ten, <laughs> the sluggo in in, in Joseph Conrad. In, in Joseph Conrad. <laughs> <laughs>